Welcome everybody uh, for this video I'll be going over the preparation of epoxides okay so let's get to it um, let me erase this for you guys so um, the preparation of so I'll be going over two methods one of the methods you guys should be uh, very familiar with uh, you guys went over it in first semester organic chemistry and that is reacting an alkene with MCPBA so that's one of the ways you're going to form an epoxide. The other way is a newer method that's going to be completely new to you guys. And it might have some um, uh, material in regards to ethers, but still it's going to be a little bit, uh, it may be a little weird for some of you guys. Um, so let's, let's get to it. So if we have an, an alkene like this, and... Um, we react it with MCPBA. The product of this will be your epoxide. Right? So I wanted to talk a little bit about what an epoxide is. Okay? So, um, an epoxide is basically you have two carbon atoms an oxygen atom to form a uh, a what do you call it? a cyclopropane type of ring okay except one of the atoms again is an oxygen so that's the main thing one of the things I had difficulty with was uh, recognizing epoxide uh, I used to think that um, this was an epoxide here okay because I thought that it's in a ring and you have an oxygen as well as the atoms however that's incorrect this is not an epoxide okay this is not an epoxide okay only this is your epoxide so it's a three atom ring to form a enclosed cyclic uh, propane type of ring okay except one of the atoms is not carbon but instead is oxygen so that's the main thing uh, important thing you guys should know okay these are not um, epoxides but rather ethers okay so and again this is a form of an ether okay but we just uh, classify it as an epoxide so epoxide has a very specific meaning okay so MCPBA so what is MCPBA it's basically um, you have a carbonyl group here and you have an oxygen, another oxygen and an H here you have an aromatic ring here and a chlorine there so that's your MCPBA okay this thing here MCPBA okay that's what it looks uh, looks like okay so this is the structure you're, re you're reacting with your alkene to form your epoxide. So again, this is your epoxide. So let's go over the reaction mechanism for this specific reaction. And again, you guys should be pretty familiar with this. Just a little review. So again, if this was your alkene, I just uh, flip the molecule, rotate it in such a way so that so that it will uh, fit the reaction mechanism better. So again, if you have your MCPBA, usually what people do, uh, what people do is just put an R over here okay but just for the sake of consistency I'll just put the whole MCPBA structure there because it's not really significant in the overall reaction so that's why people put an R there as it's just some type of generic uh, group so what happens in this reaction okay is that your alkene attacks this oxygen here okay so it, singles out one of the oxygens and it's always this one here 
What happens next? So you form a bond between this carbon and this oxygen using the pair of electrons here. Now what happens is that you kick off this pair of electrons here over here to form a double bond between this oxygen and this carbon while uh, kicking off this uh, pi electrons here to form a bond between this oxygen here and this hydrogen okay so you're kicking off the pi electrons here form a bond between this hydrogen and the oxygen now what happens is that you use the pair of electrons here to form a bond between the oxygen and this carbon here okay so again this whole thing happens at once the whole reaction mechanism is concerted okay so um the product of this is your epoxide and again you cannot have one of these bonds wedged and and the other one um, uh, wedged another one hash marked uh, so one coming out of the page and the other one going into the page you, it wouldn't work okay so you would have both of them in one direction okay so both of them uh, wedged or the other form so I'll choose wedged in this case so um, there you have it so that's your epoxide uh, what is the byproduct you form okay this is the major product we're focusing on the byproduct you form from this um, uh, reaction is a carboxylic acid okay so you form um, if you just follow the arrows you see you form a uh, C double bond O here and you form an alcohol here and then all you have is this aromatic ring and the chlorine on this side so you have the alcohol here and then you have your aromatic ring and chlorine and that's your um, carboxylic acid so let me write this here as carboxylic carboxylic acid okay so this is your carboxylic acid as a byproduct of this reaction and reaction mechanism okay, and there's your epoxide let's put epoxide here so again this is the first method to form an epoxide and again you guys should be pretty familiar with this method okay so in the second part I'll be going over the second method of preparing an epoxide so please stay tuned.